it's amazing. I just, you, it could be on the radio right now the way it is. Um, it's one of those, man, what, I woke up in the middle of the night with a dream that I was being interviewed about this, this song that was like, just went viral. <laughs> oh, I, I could only hope. And it, it, why I wrote it, when I wrote it, things like that. And um, it's, it's one of those things that uh, it has to come from God at 2.30 in the morning, sound sleep. When you wake up with that dream, and I I put my computer and I started writing, and I was done with it in five or ten minutes. And there was no changes to it. It was, it was as is. And I sent it to a friend of mine, and, and uh, you know, Warren Walker, and he put music to it, which is, the tune is great. And, you know, we had a song. <laughs> Just like that. It was. Addiction is, wow, I mean, I know it personally. I mean, I know it personally on a family level. I know it personally as a personal level, too. And um, it's one of the hardest things I've ever gone through, let me tell you. Because you can't fix an addict unless they want to be fixed. I'm going to tell you, I don't care how many times you tell them you're grounded, you, you, you try to be the mean parent, try to do this, try to do that, try to throw them in jail, try to throw them in, in um, rehab. If they're not ready to quit, <laughs> they're not going to quit, period. And you can't fix somebody that doesn't know it's broken. That's the other thing. Hell, 
shadow turn against us when demons cast spell turn who you are out there i love you guys and i'll see you later and thank you for bearing with me and thank you for listening to me and thank you for being part of my poet's journey again this is richard m Nittle, jr poet author friend family veteran <laughs>